vision is to to be purposefully different than any other mapping company in the profession by understanding our clients' needs and really innovating to those needs. So again, the, the project starts um, off with a, the question of like a specific type of data set that the client's looking for, whether it's anything from uh, floodplain mapping to um, uh, in engineering, uh, biomass from uh, forestry, um, Archaeology, uh, volcanology. We've done. I've done projects from anywhere between uh, processing data from an active volcano to looking at mine ruins. So it, it really kind of spans. You know, whatever you can dream of. You know, we're gonna be able to try to capture it with this sort of technology, either lidar, uh, digital imagery, uh, bathymetric lidar, uh, uh, thermal. Uh, there's a handful of different types of uh, data collection methods and. and solutions that uh, really kind of depend on what the client's asking for. So, a uh, collective project of, you know, 10 terabytes in raw data and it'll transform to 30 plus, you know, uh, terabytes of data when we process out and create the, the raw deliverables that get uh, integrated into production in the downstream. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the storage space is, is key. We have experts in the field in-house with multiple decades of experience with photography. They do adjustments to that imagery to create the best aesthetic look along with maintaining the accuracy of the data produced from that photography. For our operation to go smoothly at what I would determine a neutral or an idle level, um, we need to be able to process on a daily basis between 20 and 40,000 IOPS. So it's in and out operations per second. That's for our software not to choke on the data and also it needs to be provided at really low latency, so sub 10 millisecond essentially. Um, we found that there was issues with anything between 10 and 20 or higher millisecond latency. And the things that are going to cause that is when drives can't deliver the data fast enough or the queue length is too long for those, those drives and themselves. Um, and what we were seeing in the past is that that basic requirement was maxing out our previous solution. So it was working till it got to a point. And then when it got to that point, it started, everything started to slow down and that was very visible. Um, and as far as performance goes with our Cumula cluster, um, 40,000 IOPS is, roughly one-fourth of its um, quoted capability. Um, we, when we purchased it, it, it was sized for about 90,000 IOPS, and that was with nine nodes, and then we purchased a tenth node that brought it up to about 97,000 IOPS, and the cluster is just breezing along like uh, you know, just on cruise control. It, essentially, it's, it's not even feeling it. There is no, the, the cluster is not having any problems whatsoever as far as performance goes. Um, so that's a, that's a great thing. We don't have to worry about that. We have a lot of overhead that we can, we can play with if we need to uh, add more machines or more software that's pulling the data in different directions. The primary change I've noticed is more uptime, no, no data crashes, no lack of accessibility, and constant data availability at all times. Cumulo has been kind of a game changer for us. Um, the amount of storage speed, the stability, um, that's uh, been something that uh, we have definitely appreciated and, and seen the success from. As a business, we've been growing uh, at about a 25% rate year over year. Uh, so in a four year period, we expect to double and then do it again. Um, it seems our data needs are growing at a much faster rate than that because of the program that I mentioned, the three debt program uh, from USGS, uh, our data needs, uh, as, as we get more and more involved in supporting that program on a national basis, our data needs have grown from you know, where uh, an average day we're collecting two or three terabytes of data to now we're collecting 20 terabytes of data. Uh, we're planning on bringing online a couple of new sensors in the next 12 to 18 months, and I think that will only increase our data needs in an exponential way.